Hey, g'day folks, I'm back on deck again. I'm down but I'm not out. <laughs> yeah, spent a month in hospital with a bleeding ulcer. But I'm coming right. Every day I'm getting better and better and better. That's what I say to myself. Every minute of every day I'm getting better and better and better. And I'm back into politics again. We've got things happening in Timaru. I, I'm a bit of a political stirrer. I look at things that are wrong and try and correct them. And a couple, at the moment we've got a couple of things that are wrong in Timaru. A couple of people who need to go. One of them is the uh, editor of the Timaru Herald, Peter O'Neill. He, he's, he, he, he's a wimp. He's a wimp because he won't stand up. He won't say things. He, wo he, he won't uh, support the local people. I've been writing letters to the editor of the Timaru Herald for a long time. And ever since he's been there, he hasn't printed, he may have printed one and maybe two of my letters, but he just won't print them. He's just got his bloody head in the sand. He doesn't like Ron Bishop and he's not going to let me have a voice. Okay? And the other person that's got to go is a girl, woman by the name of Wendy Smith. She used to be the, the CEO of the Racky Polytech. And that went into financial trouble while she was under the management. And then she got a job with the Iraqi Business and Development Outfit. And, and, and now that's running, having to put people off. And um, she's short of money. She's asking the council for more money. And the council won't give her any more money. So we've got two people. And of course, the, the editor of the Timber Hill, he's on her side. He won't print anything negative about her. So we've got a problem. Bit of a problem. But we'll handle it. Don't you worry. We're going to handle it. We're, we've got a good mayor. At last. Better than the last mayor we had. We've got a good mayor. Damon Odie. Only a young guy in his early 40s. Uh, but he's enthusiastic and he wants to see Timaru grow. And uh, I'm going to work alongside uh, Damon. I can't get afford, afford to get offside with him. Uh, because I believe we can make Timaru grow, really grow. I mean, it just needs a bit of twinking, getting rid of the rubbish that's holding it back. Uh, and uh, i got some ideas which I'll be sharing to the council as soon as I get my health back. I hope to be able to go along to the council and, and do, do a bit of a speech to them and tell them well, how, uh, how my company, Timaru Tourist Promotions, can promote the district. Because I believe tourism should have its own promoter. Uh, you, sh you shouldn't have uh, somebody promoting tourism and trying to educate the business owners as well. You, you got a, 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 this Iraqi development business and tourism. They're trying to train business people. Uh, and they're trying to promote uh, uh, tourism. And they're not doing a very good job of either of them. All they do is spend money on bloody websites and stupid ideas. Okay, so we've got a problem there, but we're going to tidy it up, okay? And uh, they're, gonna, they're trying to gag me, but I won't be gagged, because I've got my own show, and here it is, you're listening to it now. Uh, over 800 videos, I'm going for 900 videos, then I'll have a thousand videos up, and everybody in the world will know who the hell Ron Bishop is. <laughs> okay, because I'm not going to lie down. I've made a commitment to promote Timaru, and that's what I'm going to do, okay? So I'm looking for new ideas, and I'm looking for support from some of the people uh, to support me in my ideas, okay? So listen, I'll go now, put this up. Uh, Mum's got some lunch for me somewhere, hopefully, and I'll, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.